coming at you with another video review, and this time we're taking a look at the Futurama Bender figure. Now, this is, again, as I, as I mentioned with my Fry review, this is the Encore version. The actual original release of this, release of this guy said, instead of saying Bender right here, it said something along the lines of um, coming with robot devil parts, and then you would see him kind of stuffed up here in the background. But this is the Encore. I unfortunately had to get that because it's the cheaper of the two versions. And it's the most common that you're going to be able to find, except, unfortunately, I can't get the Robot Devil, which kind of sucks, but there's some nice artwork on the side. You see Fry and Leela, although with the red hair is kind of strange. Uh, nice picture here on the back of good old Bender with the other figures in the wave. If, you, if, I, oops, if I go up a little bit, you can see the Bender Bending Rodriguez. Is Unit 22 bending unit made in Mexico, child number 1729, of a robotic arm mother and a father killed by a can opener. He's a heavy drinker and smoker for mechanical reasons, but he pathologically steals, cheats, and lies for fun. His electricity dependency is under control. He is 40% zinc, 40% titanium, and 40% dolomite, so he's 120% of something. <laughs> uh, but he was briefly made of wood and once converted into an Olympic medalist fembot. He's a devotee of all my circuits, having appeared on the show after serving as a water heater for its star, Calculon, whom he stalked and nearly married. He toured with Beck, escaped from robot hell, and suffered the curse of the wear car. You know, the usual stuff. Um, again... This the little baby. Watch out. You can't do it. Zero to three years old should not play with this. Um, one thing, it says it's for an adult collector. So really nice. And again, nice artwork at the top there. Bender, Futurama. An out-of-this-world authentic Futurama figure. Really nice packaging. I really like it. I like how you got him down here holding... Oh, you can't see it. Matt Groening's head, which is really kind of cool. I really am loving these figures. I really, th I'm really thinking that they're fantastic. And I got this guy, and I have a whole bunch of them coming out. So hopefully you're going, you guys are going to enjoy those. Uh, I'm absolutely loving this. So let's get it open and see what we have. Okay, so here we have Bender open up and out of his packaging, and th this guy's even better than Fry. Now you got to have both of these because, in my mind, Futurama is a story of a boy. And his robot. So you need both of these guys. I'll, I'll be honest. I'll get him out of the way. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this bender is... There's there's a couple other benders that are out there that... You know, some people are going to complain about a little bit. Because they, they said that there's, you know, obviously too many benders. Um, I'm, I'm actually really kind of happy with him because it allows me to display him in, in different looks and such. So, very nice. In terms of the accessories, first we're going to start, because he's going to blur things up. I can't, he comes with a can of Mom's Old Fashioned Robot Oil, made with 10% more love than the next leading brand. Um, and, of course, robots need oil changes every 3,000 miles, so it's good that Bender comes with it. Next, he comes with a, a bottle, a brown bottle. I don't know what's in it. Maybe it's a uh, old Fortran malt liquor. Now, in the world of Futurama, robots actually have to drink liquor. If they don't, they kind of get drunk. It's kind of reversed. They need to, uh, you know, their, their fuel cells die, and they have to drink more alcohol. He also comes with a nice display piece of uh, money and change. As you can see, there's some change sprinkled in there, and there's stacks of dollar bills. <laughs> really cool. I like that. And uh, he also comes with a total of three eyes, but two additional extra ones. One little sad face, and one kind of like sly look. Back to Bender himself, and I got the angry eyes in him. And to switch them out, all you do is literally just pull them out, and <laughs> there's a big hole in his head, and you just... Push him in there. And he's smooth, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that, and then, uh, he's sad. He's sad, Bender. Aww. Mm -hmm. Sad Bender. Whatever you're going to do. It's fairly nice, though. <laughs> I really like the way it looks. I think it's really kind of cool. So you take it out, and you, and you can put in whatever eyes, but I like the angry eyes in Bender. Um, in terms of uh, other things that he can do, his chest will open. 
And you really can't, you can fit the mom's, you can fit the oil in there, and you can fit the, the booze in there. But typically what I've, in this won't fit in there. It's too small to fit in there. So I'll take the can of oil, and I'll put it in there, and I'll drop it. And now he's got his oil in there. And then uh, I'll take this and this. Kind of wedge his fingers in there, and now he's got, uh, yeah, maybe turn that around so you can see what's going on. So you can, and then his arms are actually bendy, uh, which is really cool. You can bend them whichever way you want. Position that in there. Come on, work with me. And you can have him looking like he's drinking beer. I mean, I, I just think it's awesome. And like I said, his arms are bendy, so you can kind of position them any way you really want to. Uh, you don't want to overdo it, but it definitely is nice. They rotate. Up here, both sides do that, and his arms or his legs also are bendy, so you can get some. Do, 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 have him do a standing pose, but you can't see it because it's too far up. Oh, and as I do that, he falls. So there he is, just just you know, standing on one leg. He's got uh, his little antenna, his little bender, little bender. <laughs> And just straighten out his legs. And one other cool thing is his head comes off. So you can do uh, bend his arm here, get it nice and bent. You can have him hold his own head. You get it positioned just right. And it kind of wedge it in there a little bit. We'll, we'll do that. Like, here we go. Come on, bender. Silly bending unit. Eh. Position his legs back. And there you have him holding his own head, which. I'll be honest, I kind of like that pose. <laughs> I kind of like the way that looks, but you can keep that plugged in there. And uh, I mean, in terms of look and overall, I mean, overall look and posability and everything, I think Bender is a must have. Um, obviously, if you're a fan of Futurama, Bender's going to be a must have. But just the way that he looks, I mean, he's a very, very uh, drunk figure. Um, <laughs> I, I just think he's phenomenal. He's just absolutely phenomenal. I mean, really good detail. Stand, stand bender. Really good detail in the face. All there's a little paint scuff up there, but overall, really cool looking. I really love this guy. I, I think he's a phenomenal looking figure. Highly recommend picking this guy up. Um, him and Fry are, in my mind, must haves in this line. I don't know about the other ones because the only other one that I have is Kiff, but I am getting more probably tomorrow. Actually, if Mr. Mailman comes. So we'll see. So until next time, guys, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, rate, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace out, boys.